museums are always for like dead artists, aren't they really? I like the idea of a I don't know, modern archaeology or something like that. So you kind of take something like these, these skulls that I've got and then put spin painting on them so they become like a really modern thing. It just seemed like something, you know, something that would look like it was in the right place but also a bit out of place. There are many unanswerable questions in life, aren't there? And death's one of them. I think the skull is a really great symbol because it just doesn't give you any answers and it just constantly hammers home this, you know, I mean, you can't, you know, it's almost like if you were holding the skull of a loved one, you would never, you know, you never connect with the person. How's it looking? Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. You know, this kind of optimism and the hope associated with, uh, you know, trying to decorate a skull, you know, is just, you know, it's such a futile thing, you know, to make death more palatable when it's, you know, totally unpalatable. I think that came from that, from the, from the, you know, the Mayan skulls and the Aztec skulls that I've seen in the British Museum and I've, I've seen since in Mexico. Skull imagery is an integral part of Mesoamerican cultures, including the Aztecs there are allusions to both death and life. The reflection upon skull imagery and death is part of a continual process of dealing with the uncertainties of life itself and death as an integral component of that. Enlightenment, I love it, awesome. Da -da -da -da.